and welcome back to the channel for yet another bat review uh, slash comparison. So I'm going to start this by saying that understand that I make these videos for the purpose to try to give people information about a bat that they're not going to get from you know the manufacturer's website. You know, an, an actual hands-on perspective from you know I'm just a dad. I, I you know I'm not brand loyal to anyone. I don't get any free bats, any free equipment. I go buy this stuff, you know, at the store or through the website uh, using a coupon code or whatever I can come up with, just like anybody else. So my intentions are to hopefully maybe give someone some information to help them make a bat, an informed uh, decision on what bat they want to get for their child. Um, try to you know give you that information so you can be happy with your purchase because these bats are they're really expensive and it sucks when you buy a duck and you don't know it. Um, so, with that being said, everybody is looking for the magic bullet, uh, the bat that is as hot as the Eastern Ghost Advanced, but as durable as a, steel, a piece of steel, or I don't know, at least an aluminum bat at the very least. Uh, we all know the Eastern uh, Ghost Advanced and the Double Barrel, they're both, they're, they're really hot bats. However, we all also know that they're going to have a, life, a shorter life expectancy than a cicada. Um, but we're crazy, and so we just keep going and buying more bats because we want to give our kids the best opportunity to hit the ball as far as possible. So, with that being said, I got the product for you. And it's right here. It is the Marucci Echo Connect. Now, my daughter has had this bat for a year. We've got basically three seasons that we've had this bat, and she also does have the Ghost Advance, which is broken right now. Um, but this bat right here sees the lion's share of the reps. Uh, the Ghost, just because of the history and knowing how a Ghost is, um, I only ever let her swing that Ghost in a game. It's never seen a hitting lesson or anything else. It's just a game bat, and this is still her third one. Um, we've been through a bunch of them. Um, some days she'll feel like hitting the ghost, she hits it. Some days she feels like hitting the Marucci, she hits it. Um, I will say, we've gone through three ghosts, this is one Marucci. This bat is the bat that sees every hitting lesson, three days a week hitting, you know, a couple of hundred balls, um, every practice, screwing around in the yard, whatever. This is the bat. This is the donkey that gets all the work. Um, near as I can tell, this thing's probably got over 5,000 balls off of it and it is still smoking hot to this day. Now I'm going to show you in this video that it is as hot or hotter than the Ghost Advance. And uh, the, the caveat with that is it lasts. That is the difference. This thing holds up where the Ghost does not. Uh, now there are a lot of you that are still going to be brand loyal to Easton or DeMarini and will refuse to accept that this bat is, you know, a quality product. And you know what? I can't do nothing about that. All I, all I can do is just give you, you know, the facts as I see it. Uh, I'll give you the numbers straight off of the radar. You know, everybody has to make their own decision. But uh, I did want to let, uh, I did want to put this one out and let people know because this, this bat has really slept on a lot. Uh, you don't see a lot of them at the ballpark. Um, now, my daughter's not going to be doing the comparison today because the day when uh, I shot the video, uh, she just wasn't feeling well. So it's just, you know, how it worked out. She wasn't gonna be swinging the bat very well. So I have one of her teammates, a good friend of hers, Crimson. Uh, she is a, uh, a slapper. Um, she, she can chop slap, power slap, whatever. She can also swing away, hit the ball pretty good too. Um, but uh, Crimson has never swung the Marucci Echo. She normally swings a Ghost Advance. She's gonna use her bat. For the demo, she'll use her bat, which is a uh, a 30 drop 10, 30 20. Uh, this bat is a 30 20, so we'll be able to get a good side by side comparison uh, between the two bats off of her. Now, I will say for my daughter, she has hit absolute bombs with this um, in any kind of weather. Uh, she's used this thing in sub 40 degree weather uh, when it was just really freezing cold one early spring tournament. Um, not too long ago, we were we were up north in Columbus. Uh, it was I think 46 or 48 degrees, and uh, I'll cue up these videos right here.
she did right there in cold weather with this bat. Uh, and those balls were absolute tanks. Uh, they were 230, uh, 230 plus foot shots. Absolutely smoked them. Um, I never even thought once to go take a look at this bat after she used it in cold weather. It's, it's just, it's always been a, a, a great bat for us. Uh, Marucci has a really strong hold in youth baseball. They make some of the hottest bats you can get. And you see a lot of them in baseball dugouts. Um, now I will say prior to this bat, they didn't really seem to be very serious about getting into fast pitch. Uh, the bat just before this one was the pure. Uh, my daughter had it. It was a pretty good bat. It, it, I mean, it wasn't as good as the ones it was, that it was going against. It wasn't quite as good as the DeMarini. It wasn't quite as good as the Ghost, but it was durable. Um, uh, then uh, she did break the pure. It was right about the time this one was coming out. We were able to get this one when it came out. And like I said, it's been an absolute workhorse. Uh, could not be happier with this bat. And it's cheaper than the Ghost, for what that's worth. Also, another thing that you will like about Marucci, I like about Marucci, I would think anybody would. Um, when you break a Ghost, you know, you have to go through the email process and dealing with all that to try to send the bat back. Uh, my son, he, he hit Marucci baseball bats. So I've got a little bit of history dealing with Marucci and broken bats and things. And one of the things that I love about it is they are a little bit smaller company. I can actually call there and get a human being on the phone and get it dealt with. And uh, I've had to send back, I don't know, three or four broken bats uh, with him and the one with my daughter. I've never had a single problem getting a bat replaced. Um, and it's nice to be able to talk to a human being. I'm, I'm, I'm one of them, I don't much care for email correspondence. I, I like to speak to you, in, in, you know, either in person or on the phone if I can here and, you know, attach a human being to whatever email I'm eventually going to have to send anyhow. So, without further ado, we'll, uh, we'll get Crimson swinging her ghost first. And uh, we'll get 10 balls, same as usual. 10 balls, the same 10 balls for both bats, same day. Um, 10 balls, we'll, we'll, uh, you'll see the exit velocity, it'll put post on the screen for each one. Uh, we'll get the, the highest exit velocity and the average for each bat. So first up will be the Easton Ghost Advance. Go. Go. Crimson is uh, steady Eddie. Uh, now she is being a slapper. She's more of a she more hits for contact. She where power hitters will tend to kind of jump up and down a lot. You see, she was right there. I mean, as consistent as you could ever want anybody to be, like a machine. And uh, she hits that way in games too. Um, so that being said, let's see how the Marucci fares. There you have it. So uh, let's talk to Crimson, see what she thinks about it. All right, so we're done hitting. So, 10 swings. What do you think, kid? Well, I felt like it was balanced and it was like lighter than my ghost, even though it's a 30 drop 10. And um, I couldn't really tell when I miss hit the ball because it didn't rattle my fingers or anything. But it didn't feel like it came off the bat as hard as the ghost. Right on, right on. Um, I will say this, Crimson is by far of the girls that I have videoed so far, the most consistent hitter I have seen. Um, she consistently hit, her exit velocity was pretty much within one mile an hour uh, with either bat that she swung. It was actually, uh, it was pretty impressive really to see somebody just go back to back that consistently. Now, I will say her highest exit velocity with her Eastern was 51 mile per hour. She was 50, 51, every single swing. Um, it, it, like I said, it, it was impressive. Now with the Marucci, her highest exit velocity was 52. Um, she, she actually had uh, identical averages with both bats, 50.4 mile per hour exit velocity. Um, the, uh, the Marucci would have been higher because she had three, either three or four swings that were at 52 mile per hour. 
but she also had, I think, three that were kind of missing a little bit that were 48, 49, and 49. That brought her overall average down a little bit. Either way, to be that consistent with both bats is, is very impressive and definitely shows that uh, this Marucci is right there with the Ghost Advanced as far as how hot the bat is. So um, if you had to pick one, which one do you like better? Mm. Well, I like the Ghost just because I slap and I feel like this comes off the bat harder and I need to like, if I need to soft slap, I feel like it wouldn't. Really. That's a good point. That's something I didn't think about, though. Um, and also, you know, Crim's been swinging a ghost for, what, probably two or three seasons now. So this is the first time she's ever swung this bat. So for her to even, like, I honestly figured she would just pick the ghost. I mean, I figured it'd be hands down just because of familiarity. It's what she's used to swinging. But um, I think that's about as good of a review and comparison as you're going to get. And... Uh, well, there you go. That's the answer to the riddle. What bat is as hot as the uh, Ghost uh, Ghost Advanced and uh, the Ghost Double Barrel or the De Marini? yet doesn't break all the time constantly like those. Uh, here it is, right here, Marucci Echo Connect. Uh, hopefully, I've given you enough information so you know you at least have a good idea of what the bat's bringing to the table. I get it. There's still going to be a lot of people that you know, they won't give it a try for whatever reason. And, and that's fine. Everybody likes what they like. Everybody's kid likes what they like. But I would say that uh, you'd be remiss if you didn't at least go to a Dick Sporting Goods or somewhere that has a hit tracks or something where, where they could hit it or maybe your local bat supplier uh, has where you can kind of, you know, rent a bat for an hour, go hit it in the cage, go try the thing out, see how you like it. Um, hey, like I said, I'm just trying to give you a little information that, and uh, let you see that there are options out there. So uh, if you like the reviews, uh, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. If there's anything that you'd like for me to review, uh, <clears throat> comment, let me know. I'm working on getting my hands on the uh, Anderson Rocket Tech Carbon. Uh, a lot of people talk a lot about it. I really want to try it. I, they're out of stock on my daughter's size, so I'm trying to find one here locally if I can. I've also heard about a bat called the Hype from Monster Athletics. I'm gonna try to get my hands on one of those and give it a shot. Uh, and if there's anything new that I find out that it's any good, I'm gonna always try to get my hands on one and give it a good rundown and you know just try to give everybody some input on it. That way, if you're looking at getting one, you can watch this and maybe get a little something from it that helps you make a more educated decision. Um, I'm also gonna try to start adding in, I'm gonna go find me like a postal scale or something, I guess, and start weighing the bats. That way we can see uh, if they're true to their weight or if some are a little heavier, or a little lighter. So um, just another thing I want to try to add into the videos in the future. So thank you so much for watching. Um, we'll see you in the next one.